Hotel breakfast buffets are a common sight all around the world, and while the offerings may vary depending on where you're traveling, there are a few universal truths about what's really heating things up behind the scenes. Here's what you don't know about these breakfast buffets. Scrambled eggs are a staple of a typical American breakfast, usually tucked somewhere between a pile of bacon strips and a heap of sausage links. You might be thinking that eggs are the healthier option, but if their ultra-bright yellow color and oddly spongy texture didn't already give it away, the scrambled eggs served at hotels aren't anything close to the kind you make at home. Hotel breakfast bars are intended to cater to the masses, which might mean that powdered egg mix was used instead of freshly cracked yolks. So what's the solution if you've got your heart set on actual scrambled eggs? If your hotel has an omelette station, that's an excellent way to guarantee that you're getting the real deal. If you've ever vacationed in North America or Europe, chances are you've been lured into booking a hotel that offers a free breakfast buffet. But depending on where you go, the so-called buffet could be closer to a continental-style situation. Mmm, baked to perfection. Can you believe this? It all comes with the room. In larger hotels, it's common to find an assortment of breakfast classics lined up in covered serving trays. But in smaller hotels, the selection might be a little lighter. What's even more confusing is that continental breakfasts can still be served buffet style, but with individual yogurts, fruit, bagels or toast. Continental breakfast buffets are popular at business hotels where the majority of guests are getting up early for meetings, and while they might not have time for a sit-down meal, they can grab a quick bite and go. We've all seen the carnage that plays out when our eyes are bigger than our stomachs and you accidentally put too much on your plate. Food waste happens for hotels too, where the anticipation of varied tastes means loads of different options. Dinner for six for one. <laughs> well, you boys are about to see something really special. In the majority of cases, hotels have no way of knowing their guests' typical eating habits and must therefore have an assortment of foods for their guests. They then continue to prepare it, even if nobody is eating it. And if it happens to be a free buffet, you're less likely to feel bad about throwing anything out. The best part about vacation is ditching your normal routine. But if you booked a hotel that serves breakfast, you'll have to decide whether that waffle station is worth sacrificing your sleepover, because hotel dining rooms close a lot earlier than you'd think. A lot of hotels start serving breakfast as early as 6am, and they typically wrap things up by 10am at the latest. If you're staying in an all-inclusive resort, this might sound crazy, but for boutique hotels, it makes a lot of sense. Many travellers are early risers who are eager to make the most of their day, and hotels know that guests don't want to wait around to grab a bite to eat. Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. A large dining window also ensures that guests who do want a few more hours of shut-eye can still get their grub on. And depending on checkout times, early breakfast allows guests enough time to eat between waking up and heading out. Food contamination has always been a touchy subject when it comes to buffets. Before we all became familiar with COVID protocol in 2020, it was totally normal to see people reaching over food platters and using the same set of tongs to put items on their plate. And with a simple cough or a sneeze, buffets become the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and germs. Cross-contamination can happen from the minute the food leaves the kitchen until you put it on your plate. Buffets are full of high-transfer touch points like tongs, drink jugs, silverware and lids. And when you consider the fact that some guests prefer to grab food with their hands, it doesn't take much to imagine what might be lurking on your food by the time it reaches your plate. Morning, baby! Morning, Mr. Breakfast! Despite being left alone in a warming tray, the warm foods you find at a buffet are perfectly safe to eat. But what about things like coffee creamer, butter packets, cream cheese and yoghurt? At home, you'd keep these items in the fridge, but hotels generally display perishables on ice to retain the cold temps. According to the FDA, foods that require refrigeration, like dairy, need to be kept at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. If they reach room temperature, they must be thrown out after two hours. As a general rule of thumb, make sure that refrigerated items are actually sitting on ice and not just in a pool of water. When in doubt, skip it. Have you ever chilled at a hotel lobby lounge even though you're not staying the night? The same thing can be done with hotel breakfast buffets. Many hotels that offer a breakfast, lunch or dinner buffet open their doors to the public as well. And more often than not, hotels will simply charge a fee for those who have yet to book a stay. I will take a free breakfast buffet anytime, 
any place. The IHOP in Niagara Falls, for example, is attached to a Ramada hotel, but everybody is invited to come in and enjoy the world-famous pancakes regardless of whether or not they're a paying guest. So when it comes to traveling the globe and sampling the best breakfast buffet every hotel has to offer, the only limit is how much you can eat. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite breakfast foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.